The, the other thing that I, I was surprised by in kind of the research, you know, you get a volume of profile stories from, from all, all throughout the uh, Why years are you about you. Was, about? Oh well, it was. I guess it's the amount of like print copy that's been devoted to your coaching changes over the years, and either you know criticism or people poking fun at it. And I mean, it just seems like. You know, whether you stay at one place for a year or three years or 10 years, if you want to switch roles every few years, you need to do what makes you happy, and that's your right, and you've earned the ability to do so. So I guess I'm just curious in your mind why you think you've received criticism for that over the years? I don't know. You know, I, I look around, um, I never had the intention of leaving. A lot of people tell me people were angry I left because maybe they thought I was doing a good job and I was a good fit. Right. I really believe in my heart that's a big thing. But like I told you before, I, I really felt I had reasons to leave. I'll give you an example. I, I loved UCLA. Um, J.D. Morgan died when I was there. He was the AD. Um, my relationship with UCLA was strong, but he was the one that I, I wanted to work for. Um, I, and people don't look at that like that. And, th and then they look at, you know, UCLA went on probation when I left. Well, they had 88 violations um, prior to me going there. I, they had two when I was there. One, one of my assistants gave out an illegal sh a shirt, and one was an illegal meal, and they look at me as a guy that left and put them on probation. I had nothing to do with that. And then they don't want to talk about um, eight years later, they asked me to come back and coach. If I was such a bad guy, or they didn't care about me or didn't think I did a good job, why would they ask me to come back? But the bottom line is I had no intention of leaving anywhere. Yeah. And like I said before, I gave every job I had the most I could give. And I'm not, I'm proud of everything I do, I've done, every practice I went to, every game I coached. Um, and I don't think I shortchanged anybody, but when you have a track record like me, um, people have a right to have their opinion about who you are and what you're about. I wish they would get to know me a little bit before they would, you know, come to these conclusions. But that's just the way it is. What would the Larry Brown now tell the Larry Brown at 40 years old? At 40, uh, I'd tell him to try to do the best you can every day in what you do, be a decent human being, and try to make kids better if you're going to be a coach, and develop the people you sit next to and give them an opportunity to do what you're doing. I want people to know don't stop working if you're doing something you love, and do everything you can to help young people grow up and be successful. Because that's what happened to me. Every coach that I've had did everything they could to make me better. And uh, I feel real fortunate about that.